Hi parents, grandparents, Vehaverim Shell Salmon Chapter. We are so happy you're joining us for a Hanukkah celebration for Jewish education. Nous allumerons la Hanukia, reflecting on our SSA history of over 50 years. With Mrs. Feinstone, Dr. Hammerman, and Mr. Erdely. And we'll be singing songs. Together with Cantor Daniel Van And Cantor Adam Stotland. And us, all the students of SSA. Don't forget to tag SSA Montreal in your candle lighting pictures. So we can share them on social media. Grab your latkes, chupkaniot, and enjoy. And we wish you... Good evening, everyone. Bonsoir à tous. Welcome to our Solomon Schechter Hanukkah celebration for Jewish education. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I want to wish you and your families a very, very Chag Sameach. Hope you've all had a wonderful, wonderful Hanukkah holiday. Lots of presents, lots of latkes, and lots of good things. Even though we are remote, I hope you had some time, uh, at least virtually, to be with your families, celebrate and enjoy. I love uh, the Jewish holidays and Hanukkah in particular, specifically around the fact of that notion of the festival of lights, I think is very, very meaningful. Light has a, the word is a special symbolic word, uh, means a lot of special things from illumination to hope and to goodness. And that is what is really giving me a, a feeling of a lot of gratefulness and sense of community this season. I think we've got a really a lot, a lot to be grateful for. Uh, one, we think about the experience that our children have been able to have over the last three months. Despite the pandemic, our kids have been in school with their friends, with their teachers, with people that care about them, learning, thriving, being kids. And I think despite all we've gone through, we forget that how lucky they are because not every kid in North America has been able to have that special experience. And seeing my children and your children going off every day and getting out of the house and being normal again is something that we should be very, very grateful for. Second thing that I just want to highlight of how lucky we are and, and, and this sense that I'm feeling a lot of gratefulness as well is all of our staff and teachers, our frontline workers, that we take a little bit for granted every day, but these people get up each and every morning and put themselves at risk to take care of our children, to make sure our children are having this best possible experience so they can be the best version of themselves for the future. I think we really, really have a lot to be grateful for. But what hit me the most uh, really came to me a couple of weeks ago around the sense of community. And I really felt this when I was attending my, uh, my daughter, Mila Kay, her, her grade one uh, Chagiga for when they, the children get their first Sidur. It was, a, it was a beautiful ceremony, of course, it was virtual, but you know, what I retained the most of this is when I saw it was, it was the opportunity for the grandparents to each share a message uh, of joy or whatever they wanted to pass on for their grandchildren. You know, when I saw 40 plus grandparents, each one give a personalized message to their grandchild about how proud they were of them, how much they miss them, how much they can't wait to see them and hug them and kiss them. What struck me is that every single one of them had the same message. And it wasn't because one went after another, so they just piggybacked and said the same thing. These were all taped individually, yet the message for each child was the same. And that's what really hit me the most is, despite all that we are going through, we are all going through something very, very similar. And as cheesy as it is, we're in this together as a community. We're in this together as one big SSA family, and it's something that we shouldn't forget. What one of our families are experiencing, we're all experiencing. The good, the bad, all of it. Um, and that's something that I think, again, we take a little bit for granted, but is, is really the strength of who we are as a school and what's kept this school strong for the last 50 years. And that's why this campaign that we're having this year is so important. That's ultimately what it's all about. It's about community. It's about not only building on what we have and continuing to make it better, but it's also ensuring that the education quality of what SSA represents is around for the next 50 years. You know, I remember something that I heard years ago on the board where Dr. Hammerman said, the cornerstone 
of any Jewish community is education, it's the schools. If we lose the schools, the community is finished. And if you look around around the world, he's absolutely right. And that is why this campaign is so important, to sustain the school, not only to keep us up to date from where we are today, but to make sure that the school and this community is strong and vibrant for the next 50 years. So if you can give and you have given, thank you so much. Everybody in the school appreciates it and your dollars are going to really something special and important. And if you haven't or you can't give this year, because we are after all in a pandemic and I understand the difficulties that many families are facing, you have nothing to worry about. Solomon Schechter and our community have got your families back and we will make sure that your children continue to get an education and continue to thrive. That's what this community and SSA is all about. So once again, thank you for your time. Thank you for your trust in sending your children to Solomon Schechter for the future of their education. And I wish you all a very happy holiday season. Hug some mayaf once again, be safe, and hopefully we'll get to see you in face to face in 2021. My very best to you all. Have a good evening. Please enjoy watching the youngest members of our Solomon Schechter family singing How Many Candles. How many candles? How many candles? How many candles do we light on our Hanukkah? On our Hanukkah, the first Hanukkah night. Ready? Everybody. One, 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 one. One candle burning. One candle burning. The first Hanukkah night. How many candles? How many candles? How many candles do we light? On our Hanukkah. On our The second night of Hanukkah. Two. 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 Two candles burning. The second night of Hanukkah. Om Yerubunik, Om Yerubunik, Om
I came to the Star Zion Academy in the early 50s as an English teacher in the newly founded Jewish Day School, and the rest is, as they say, history. When the Solomon Schechter Academy took over as the official conservative day school in Montreal, I was the assistant to the principal, Dr. Kronitz, and when he left in 1970, I became the principal, a position I held until my retirement so that I was with the school for more than 40 years. Solomon Schechter Academy was and is always a vibrant Jewish day school where our pupils are made aware of their rich heritage and Jewish lifestyle. Our school grew in number and reputation through the 70s and 80s where we were able to attract our excellent faculty, the English, French, Hebrew, and of course, administrators. In the early 1980s, Dr. Shemshin Hammerman joined us. He was at that time in charge of the Hebrew curriculum and the vice principal. And of course, that the Hebrew curriculum and the experiential programs took on a new meaning and direction. I would like to also add that we were the first Jewish day school to open a separate French immersion branch in 1971. Later, this was known as the Section Française. I have so many wonderful memories of all the meaningful celebrations that took place with pupils and parents and continue to do so. The Hanukkah celebrations, the model seders, Shabbat services, Havdalah, not to mention the French plays, where pupils can actually live in French, and the English happenings that took place, the math programs. I have so many memories of wearing different costumes together with Dr. Hammerman, especially on Purim, and pupils running around the school, looking around, where is Mrs. Feinstone? Who is Mrs. Feinstone dressed up as this year? And it was always so much fun for somebody to finally guess that's Mrs. Feinstone and the person got a special extra homotage or something like that. What is important and special about a Solomon Schechter education is that Solomon Schechter Academy has always been in the forefront and the knowledge of new trends and new government programs to be implemented. Teacher assistants, support staff, audiovisual methods, and the recognition that different alternatives can exist and do exist so that every child can reach his or her potential. That is what makes Solomon Schechter Academy the success that it is. In these very difficult and challenging times, kol akavod to Stephen Erderly, who is leading the school together with his administration with enthusiasm and readiness at all times to take on these new challenges. I wish them all, the members of the board, the parents, grandparents, to continue to go mechayel lechayel, from strength to strength, together with the children, the pupils, our future. Happy Hanukkah, Chag Sameach. Hi. I joined Solomon Schechter Academy in 1980-81, and I remained here for 33 years. I was the vice principal, then when Rosa Feinstone retired, I became the principal, then I became the head of school, and now I became the head of school emeritus. What made Solomon Schechter, Solomon Schechter? I'll make three points. First. I inherited a tradition from Rosa Feinstone, a tradition of unequivocal excellence. The second is the faculty that is passionately committed to excellence. Third, 
the parent body, an uncompromising parent body, for everything that was excellence for education was supported without hesitation. In 1981, we were the first school to bring in computers into the school. I so remember the Atari 800 and the Atari 400 computers. This is a school that brought in robotics. This is the school that brought in hockey, soccer, basketball, a smart floor, smart boards in every classroom, instrumental music, choir, young authors, theater, a theater center, one of the finest gyms in the city, a library that there's no second to it, a school-wide Israeli dance festival, trips to Israel, science exhibitions, Jewish arts, mosaics, paper cuts, micrography, decades of excellence in the math competitions, the French plays for the acquisition of French language, Shabbat, Havdalah, Seders. I still meet students today who tell me that I do Shabbat like I learned at Solomon Schechter. I conduct my Seder from the same Haggadah that I had at Solomon Schechter. We have put together a course on the studies of Israel and our link to the school, to Afik school, long before it was fashionable. We gathered quarters and glued them onto scotch tape to make a mile of quarters. By the end of the day, it was more effort to take off the quarters from the tape than the money that we gathered. But nonetheless, we were part of the annual CJA campaigns. Long ago, the Jewish people came to the conclusion that to defend the country, you need an army. But to defend a civilization, a culture, a way of life, you need schools. You need Jewish day schools. The single most important social institution is the place where we hand over our values to the next generation. Where we tell our children where we've come from, what ideals we fought for, and what we learned along the way. Schools are where we make children our partners in the long and open-ended task of making a more gracious, a, more, a kinder world, a tikkun olam. I'm proud to carry on the torch that was passed on from Rosa to Shimshon to me. It's a privilege to work in a school where there's such a sense of tradition, a sense of dedication to excellence, and to working to ensure every child meets their potential. At Solomon Schechter, our goal is that if a child travels to any Jewish community in the world, they can fit in like they're at home because they know the prayers, they know the traditions. In addition to learning the stories, one of our goals is to make sure the students understand the values behind those stories so that they can become the leaders of tomorrow. Our goal is to make sure your children are prepared for those seders and Rosh Hashanah dinners in 25, in 50 years, in 75 years from now. So when they one day are parents, grandparents and God willing, great grandparents, they can make sure that there's a continuity, that those traditions are passed on from generation to generation, midor ledor. In addition to the strong Judaic studies program, we wanna make sure the students have the best secular program so that they can achieve excellence in English, in French, in Hebrew, in math and sciences and technology. And because of that, we focus our efforts on robotics, on animation, on our makerspace, so that our students are prepared not just for today, but for the problems of tomorrow. Each day I come to work knowing that I'm working at the finest school, not just on the island of Montreal, but in the province of Quebec. I'd like to take the opportunity to wish you and your families a Chag Sameach, all the best for the upcoming holiday, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Chag Sameach, everyone. Cantor Adam from Shara Zion Congregation here to sing a few songs for Chanukah with my friend Tebet. Sing along.
And now, please welcome Chazan Daniel Ben Lolo and Sam Moyal on guitar. Solomon Schechter, Chanukah Linda Stagi, Ocho Candelas para mí, Chanukah Linda Stagi, Ocho Candelas para mí, oh, Una Candalica, dos Muchas fiestas por hacer, con alegría y placer. Muchas fiestas por hacer, con alegría y placer. Oh, una candalita. Ocho candelas para mí. Once there was a time we had a temple where every Jew would go three times a year. There we worship God in our tradition. Then suddenly a tyrant did appear. But with faith in God, they cleansed the temple. Kindled that small lamp with hope and love. Then the story had a happy ending. Eight days of blessed light came from above. Eight days of
excited to invite you to join us together with the student of 3B in the blessing of the candles this eighth night of Hanukkah. בבקשה, הצטרפו אלינו והדליקו את נרות החנוכה שלכם בבית. חג שמח. I'm Karen. I'm Ricky. I'm Sarah and I'm in grade five. And on behalf of all the parents of SSA, we light the first candle for Hanukkah tonight. Chag Hanukkah Sameach from the Asra family. Michael. Melissa. Charles Kita Dalet. Katie Troisième Année. Max Première Année. Real we light the second candle on behalf of all the SSA students. Hi, my name is Ellie Parker. I've been teaching preschool at Solomon Chapter for 19 years. Hi, my name is Ellen Ryder. I've been teaching language arts and math at SSA for over 40 years. Chers parents, chers élèves, mon nom est Mary Kadosh et j'enseigne le français depuis 36 ans. Shalom Hashem, je suis Rochel Avni Zunimshain, je me lève de Tivouit et Solomon Schechter, je suis à 34 ans chez les Beit Hasefer. We light the third candle on behalf of all the dedicated teachers of SSA. Good evening, my name is Beverly Greenberg. I'm so proud to be a grandparent of three grandchildren who have attended Solomon Schechter Academy. I'm honored to light the fourth candle on behalf of all the Solomon Schechter Academy grandparents. Chag Sameach. We are the Weinstock family. Melanie. Adam. Brian. Kitava. Sophie, grade four and Jason in Dozia Mane. We light the fifth Hanukkah candle on behalf of the many volunteers who make a difference at SSA. Happy Hanukkah from Gail Monk, class of 96. Ronnie, class of 96. Gabby, grade five. Jamie, grade three. Avery, kindergarten. 
our family lights the sixth candle on behalf of over 3,000 SSA alumni from Montreal and around the world. Shalom. אנחנו אלב אליו, שינשינים מישראל. התדבר משנה שעברה בבית ספר סלומון שכטר עם הילדים המדהימים של SSA. אנחנו מדליקים את הנר השביעי לכבוד הקשר המדהים שיש לסלומון שכטר עם ישראל. חג שמח. Hello, Shalom. We are Ella and Leo, Shinshinim from Israel, who spent last year volunteering with the amazing students of SSA. We like the seventh candle to represent the special connection that SSA has with Israel. Chag Sameach. Shalom to all SSA students, it's Leo the Shinshin. How are you all? Just wanted to wish you all Chag Sameach and to tell you that I really, really miss you. Happy Hanukkah. Nous sommes la famille Benaroche. Je suis Sébastien, ma femme Sonia, et nos enfants, Jacob et Noah. We'll be joining the Solomon Schechter Academy family in 2021. And we're lighting the eighth candle tonight on behalf of the future families and students of Solomon Schechter Academy. Chag Sameya. As we conclude the lighting of the Hanukkah, I want to share with you that never before in the 50 year history of Solomon Schechter Academy, have we needed your support more than right now to continue to shine the light. This year, we have spent an additional $700,000 on items such as extra tuition assistance, technology, and health and safety. And we ask for your support as we continue to venture on some of our key pillars. With the help of the COVID relief fund, we've been able to ensure that 40% of our families could continue to have an excellent education at Solomon Schechter we've been able to purchase premium air purification units in every class, plexiglass at every desk, and hand sanitizing stations throughout the school to help keep every child safe. We are proud to have launched a technology innovation program that has allowed the school to purchase 500 devices for every child from kindergarten to grade six and for each staff member. Major upgrades have been put in place also for our Wi-Fi and our server to make sure that the usability for the students is simple and available whenever they need it. Each year we hold our annual campaign, which allows us to make investments that will benefit every child in terms of Jewish life and culture, professional development for their teachers, and enrichment and remediation. We know that this year has been especially tough for some students, both academically and psychosocially. We are doing everything we can to make sure those students can succeed. We are offering you the opportunity to sponsor one of our events, whether it be a Chagiga, a Havdalah ceremony, a Kabbalah Shabbat, or a model Seder. We are counting on your support. As Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment in education pays the highest interest. Je vous souhaite un joyeux Hanukkah. Chag Sameach. Merci. Toda. Now, sing along with our students from grades 1 to 6 as they perform a Hanukkah medley.
for the fun, chop the gout, let the traders roll. Night two, get up and move, dance party in the living room. Singing songs for the Maccabees from dawn until night three. Night four, say Mao getting showered in gifts galore. Things are feeling heavy, time for another Zoom already. Life is sweet as jelly, fry it up, get in my belly. News feed overload, we're over that, we're good to go, you know what? We're here to show up. Hey, so let's go, let's go. Politics at the door. All heavens, here comes seven, so we dance till the break of dawn. Eight nights, we'll be alright, we're connected near and far. Things are feeling heavy, time for another Zoom, I'm ready. The life is sweet as jelly, fry it up, get in my belly. Shining through the city, I will never be 